There's another thing I uh, wanted to share, show you a couple of books that I got over the past few months, have been reading on and off. Um, some of them I've finished, others I'm still working on. Uh, so here goes. This is probably the most important one of the bunch, Crisis and Leviathan by Robert Higgs. Now, if you don't know who Robert Higgs is, you need to look into him. He is the guy who was sort of, you know, kind of a traditional constitutional conservative. I think that that was that that was how he characterized himself a couple of decades before. And uh, but he he's a very good economic historian. He really knows how to look for data, how to how to work with data, how to present data. Also, his reasoning and logic is superb. He's he's fantastic. I I love his writing style as well. So he started writing about growth of government. He started looking into various things that would characterize growth of government. And he ended up writing lots of stuff, um, lots of books and articles, among which I think this is his most important work. Um, critical Episodes in the Growth of American Government. Now, there's so much information in this book, so much data like real detailed information on how things happen. For example, uh, the monstrous developments in the United States during the First World War, what happened with the draft, how the state, the American state, went about ensuring that the draft is successful, what they did to people, how they regulated the most minute aspects of people's lives, under the guise of taking care of the general welfare and doing good for society. You know, whatever I say, no matter what I say right now, is not going to do the book justice. You need to read it. And if you have somebody in your life who you're trying to convince of the evil of government or the evil of the state or the statism, this book will give you ammunition. I mean, you're going to you're going to read things that you will not believe yourself. Even if you're an anarchist like myself, even if you're a minarchist who recognizes the evil of government excesses, believe me, there's probably tons and tons of stuff in this book that you never knew about and you could not even guess in your wildest dreams. So, read this book. It deals with the United States history from late 19th century to, I think, through the Second World War would be the correct way to say it. It talks in great detail about the major episodes of the American history. Um, and he basically lays out this thesis that um, governments grow. That's what they do. And by grow, he means expand their reach and power, the way in which um, governments acquire wealth by stealing it from people, by taking it at gunpoint from people, and how governments go to war, how they use war to perpetuate statism and their own power, and also how war, in and of itself, becomes a purpose. Um, you will read a lot of deeply disturbing and even terrifying things in this book, but you need to know them. In fact, <laughs> whenever I think of Robert Higgs, I, you know, the, the word that immediately jumps to mind is pessimist. He is a pessimist. He doesn't believe cigars going up. In short, he doesn't believe things are likely to get better anytime soon. Why does he think that? Well, he knows. He knows a lot. He, he has literally written books on the subject of government growth and how government uses crises, both uh, um, exogenous crises occurring outside of a particular state and manufactured crises to advance its own agenda, to advance its own power over people pretty much. So that's why the book is called Crisis and Leviathan. Leviathan is the Hobbesian metaphor for the state. 
which in and of itself is, is a topic for a whole other video. Uh, and, you know, if you're, if you're into this sort of thing, if you're interested in the history of the growth of the modern state, I would recommend Don Livingston's lecture. Lecture called, I think it was called The Rise of the Nation State. Uh, you can find it on Mises.org or on iTunes U. If you search for Mises and Don Livingston, you'll find it. It's a tremendous lecture um, where he talks, among other things, about Hobbes and the Hobbesian idea of what a state is. Leviathan is an apt metaphor for it because Leviathan is, and Leviathan from the Book of Job in the Bible, right? Leviathan is too great to be controlled by human effort or by human endeavor. Leviathan will not be controlled. So crisis and Leviathan, how Leviathan uses crises to become more of a Leviathan. It's a, it's a deep and tragic and terrifying book, but it's full of very important truths that you need to know. That's one. This is another book by Higgs. It's called Against Leviathan. This is a collection of his essays and articles. Um, which again I highly recommend. It's not a cohesive um, uh, story from beginning to end, but it's a, a collection of very important essays, uh, choke full of research, data, information. Again, much of it I'm sure you will you're not likely to read anywhere else. So, you know, if you're going to buy just one, I'd say go with Christ and Leviathan. But hey, you can afford two. They 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 cost pennies used on Amazon. So, you know, get it. This hmm? 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 Hologram of Liberty by Kenneth W. Royce, aka Boston Tea Party. If you don't know who Boston Tea Party is, look him up. I was fortunate to meet him and even speak with him a little bit at Workfest in New Hampshire. And uh, I have his, you know, I, I bought a few books off of his table, um, signed by the author, which is not important, but I, you know, I used to think those things were cool. For example, my next book is also signed by the author, but it's like, well, who cares? The important thing is that we read them and we understand what they say. This uh, I bought on the recommendation of Lengthian Arthur, again, my YouTube friend. Um, now, it's probably, I, I haven't read it yet, I haven't started it, but it talks about, you know, the Constitution, the U.S. Constitution and the Federal Constitution, the adoption of it being pretty much a coup against liberty, which I sort of knew already. Um, I, I came to that conclusion after reading and researching on my own. Um, I believe that the U.S. Constitution was a centralization, you know, move for centralization uh, planned by very evil people who were, you know, promoting their own status agendas, and uh, it's not the celebration of freedom and human dignity. Um, it's a great monument to liberty, as most people would tend to believe, even people who believe in these kind of things, you know, like liberty and personal rights and whatnot. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading it. Let's see if it's as good as Lengthy and Arthur told me. And, last but not least, Tom DeLorenzo's The Real Lincoln. Um, let me just say this. Um, I met Tom DeLorenzo at uh, Freedom Fest last year, almost to the date a year ago in Las Vegas. Um, and I bought it from there. Uh, pretty much, let me say this. Nobody who's read this book can remain a fan of Lincoln. I'll, I'll just say this. I'll talk about the Lincoln cult more in my later videos and how it relates to some of my experiences as a child growing up in the USSR, but uh, let's just leave it at that. This is a very important book. Again, if you're interested in the U.S. history, you need to read it because much of what you think you know about the U.S. history, especially about this man, is a lie. 